Two new DLC packs are coming to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, that being the Mandalorian Season 2 pack and the Bad Batch pack on May 4th, Star Wars Day. The Mandalorian Season 2 pack has already been leaked, so we already know what characters you'll be getting. In those packs, you get Moff Gideon, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett's alternative helmet design, Fennec Shand and Ahsoka Tano. However, many people have been mixed on the current DLC packs that have just been released which makes many people believe these new packs are going to be just as lackluster. Reasons why people are concerned, what to expect in the DLC packs, and more in today's video. So LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has had two of their DLC packs for Star Wars Day get leaked. Whilst there isn't any gameplay of the new characters, we know what characters to expect and the leaked icons that come with it. For the Bad Batch DLC pack, we get the expected Hunter, Wrecker, Echo, Tech and Crosshair in his Imperial outfit. These icons show that the characters are completely masked up in their Clone Trooper outfits, but so far we don't actually know if there'll be any maskless variants of their designs. Hopefully so, but many are doubtful because so far, all the DLC packs that have launched for the Skywalker Saga has only come with one outfit and nothing much else. Not to mention, Omega is nowhere to be seen in his pack either, and it's not like they shy away from child characters being playable in the game. Young Anakin is playable and even has a special interaction with Darth Vader himself. Whoa, that's a cool suit. Where can I get one of those? Patience, child. Patience. When it comes to the Mandalorian Season 2 pack, I think a lot of people will be focusing on Ahsoka Tano. She is, after all, a fan favourite in the franchise, and there has undoubtedly been a lack of Clone Wars characters to choose from in the game, compared to the other two trilogies. The main concern for fans, and even myself, is that these packs are simply just the figure design and nothing else. No extra costumes, no special interactions, not even any new dialogue. And I think it would be quite disappointing to have an impactful character like Ahsoka not have any unique lines of dialogue with Anakin or Vader. Like, it would be a huge opportunity wasted. I'm hoping they'll get her Clone Wars voice actor, Ashley Eckstein, to come in and do a few lines of dialogue for her. Because I don't think I'd even be satisfied if they simply just ripped some lines from the TV show. So what do you think? Do you believe that these next few DLC packs for LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, will include a few more bits of content, like dialogue, extra costumes and such? And if they don't, will you still be buying them? For me, I think $3, it's still worth the purchase. But if they don't serve any benefit or extra immersion for me, then I don't really want to be supporting content that doesn't reach a level of satisfaction for me. But that is just my opinion. What about yours? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I read all of them and I'll get back to some of you as well. And of course, if you love everything LEGO Star Wars, why not join our Discord? We have about 3,000 of you there already and if you love talking about star wars games like star wars squadrons battlefront empire war and the skywalker saga our invite code to our discord will be in the pinned comment down below but besides that guys i've been charlie you've been watching x2 and i'll see you in the next video take care guys